Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we break down my entire income for the month of September. So let's jump go right into this. Welcome back, my passive income investors. I like today, my hat doesn't like to stay on too well, but we're gonna break down not only my dividend and stock income, but we're also gonna take a look at my income from my working uh, class career as a full-time magician and part-time DJ, which many of you know I'm quitting DJing uh, this month. I'm gonna take these off so I can see you guys just a little bit better. But I think it's gonna be a fun video. I do this once a month, so consider slapping a like and subscribing if you guys enjoy me being as transparent as possible with my life. But many of you already know I am a full-time magician magician. That is how I've been making the majority of my income. Actually, my largest income comes off performing as a magician. It's kind of cool, interesting job. And this month, the month of September, I made $2,575. Mind you, this is all pre-tax income, which I'm trying to avoid paying this year by utilizing my RSP accounts or maybe buying an online business. I'm kind of fluctuating between the two ideas, but I, I keep being like uh, bipolar that way for you guys. So I mean, but if you're learning something, it's all that matters. Now, DJing, many of you guys know I don't show too much of this part of my life, but I'm a bit of a DJ as well with my business partner, but I'm going to be quitting that after this week. Uh, this Saturday is my last DJ job, and I know this income looks really healthy, but it's only healthy for like two to three months out of the year when wedding season comes around, which is where I make the majority of my money. And a lot of you are probably saying, well, why are you giving up on that income? Because essentially it's going to crush that right out. Well, I want time to start focusing more on my career, making passive income, and also pushing my career as a magician. Because when I book these jobs, uh, they're kind of concrete jobs. I can't just walk away from them. So I want to try and have the option of maybe doing cruise ships, maybe traveling down to the US to perform and finding some other avenues of income without this holding me back. I can't work around this. Uh, so I'm basically using the money that I've made off this this month to get the rest of my life in order, basically fixing my car up. I just bought a laptop that's not going to be here till Tuesday. I needed a new TV. Mine was busted. And I know that doesn't sound too frugally of me to be buying all this crazy expensive crap. And trust me, my girlfriend knows how bad it hurts me inside as she sees me cringe paying out, you know, $1,200 for a laptop. Not like I'm buying a brand new back. I'm Mac brand new Mac. I don't like buying Apple. I'm not really utilizing that to the extent, but I like having a good, decent computer to edit on. And trust me, this will be able to do the job no matter where I am in the world. Um, but sometimes you got to update your stuff, guys. I've been using the same materials now for like the last five years at least. So, I mean, I'm just trying to get this as portable as possible. So say goodbye to this income at the end of this week uh, so I can have some free time for you guys. So do consider subscribing just for that reason. I'm going to be losing out. It's kind of like taking one step back at the hopes of taking like two steps forward uh, but you got to start somewhere and time is the most valuable thing on the planet can't get any of that back so I'm going to start investing my time as heavily as possible and then finally my dividend income here guys uh, which we're going to go over some of my stock portfolio changes as well but my dividend income was $175 this month. Pretty bleak. That is including the U.S. conversion. So this is the paid out amount in Canadian dollars, which for you U.S. watchers sounds pretty bleak because it's probably only what, like 150, 140 U.S. Uh, but next month or this month coming up, the month we're in October, the Halloween month, my favorite month out of the year, uh, is going to be a much better month as I think I'm bringing in roughly $800 in dividends, which I am going to be re investing, which I'm super looking forward to that. And I also have still jobs coming in for the magic stuff. So October is looking pretty good all overall. But remember, this is for the month of September. Looking back here a bit. Now let's take a look at the changes in my stock portfolio. This is by far the most fascinating thing to me because at the end of the day, no matter how much I make this income, it goes toward bills and a little bit of it always ends up going toward uh, my investing. And the reason I got into investing and the reason many of you are probably trying to become passive income investors is before the growth without working. Uh, now that I've been five years, almost six years deep into this, actually, or was it five years? I think we're five years solid into investing. And it's nice to see how much this can grow in and of itself. Mind you, at the beginning of the year, of um, we had that big dip. But I just want to show you how much things have changed. Because the beginning of this year, my account was worth $104,125. You guys can actually look this up if you go back to the beginning of my channel. And today, it's worth about $114,880 uh, with my contributions plus growth and dividends. And the coolest thing is I've been managing my account in a way to try and get the dividend income up, 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 baby, because that's that passive income. And I've gone from $3,350 at the beginning of this year to $5,565. My goodness, I have increased my dividend well over to $1,000, which by the way, isn't 
uh, mainly from me working and adding income to this portfolio. It's from me managing and moving positions around. Many of you saw me sold, uh, sold off a piece of Apple this year. Um, I've been trying to basically cost average and manage my account in a way where things are fairly balanced, but I am going heavy tobacco stocks right now. I just sold uh, 3M yesterday before the big drop today. Uh, a lot of stocks dropped today. I was kind of glad uh, that I sold that. It was only $1,000. I'm still keeping 3M in my RBC account but the because I bought that position on your behalf. But I just can't see any more value out there in the market than there is in MO and the tobacco industry right now. So for short term and long term, I'm just funneling. I got I think I got about $30,000 between British American Tobacco and MO just um, in those positions, which make up a fairly decent chunk of my portfolio right now. But in the short term and the long term, I think we're going to see some really good short term capital gains, maybe in the next three, six, 12 months. And then on top of that, I'm only going to leverage it down to buy something else. And I'll keep the majority of the position there because I like the dividends. I mean, we're talking about 8% yields. These companies can afford to pay. I'm going to stop going on about that because I talk about that too much for you guys. It is thunderstorming. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. Uh, there's crazy storm warnings right now. So I'm hoping the power doesn't go out in the process of me making this video for you. And finally, before I finish up, I want to do some shout outs uh, to Matt Money. Uh, I was catching him along with Gen X, man. I was kind of fun talking to you guys in the uh, in a live stream yesterday. Uh, not my live stream. I want a live stream, but I need to get about a thousand subs before uh, I can actually do it off my phone until I get this laptop. It's kind of annoying the way uh, YouTube has set that up, but I will, I'll be live streaming. So definitely consider subscribing to get me to that level. I can't wait for a thousand subs. Getting close. Thank you. We're going to go over all that in the next video on my YouTube analytics. But that big shout out guys, uh, Gen X and uh, Matt Money, you guys are uh, something else. I think Matt Money's coming down to my hometown, uh, Toronto for a wedding at the end of this month and maybe we'll try and do a collab. Uh, if you're down for that, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It'll be fun to do some more meetups with some of you subscribers as well. If you're ever in the uh, Toronto or basically Ontario area, I'm all over the place for my job. So never hesitate to uh, shoot me a message. I'd love to come down and meet you guys and maybe even get some footage of it as well. Uh, I'm gonna finish making this video up for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna do one of these every single month. And this month might not be as entertaining. Uh, my income will start dropping off, uh, which means I gotta really start hammering out some other things. But I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys can always let me know what you think in the comment section below. How much did you make for the month of September? I'd love to hear about it. If you're one of those people funneling cash and hiding your entire life, well, that's your problem, not mine. I'm public. I like sharing all this information to let you guys know what is possible, what is capable. And the last thing I need to update you guys on is the big show. Um, I did a massive show before I forget at the Markham Theater. And I'm just getting the assessment done for that right now. It's 500 seats. We had such a good turnout. It was such an amazing show. I haven't talked about it because I got too busy with stock quits. I literally had to fly down there the next day. Um, so I'm going to try and get some clips of that and post them up for you guys as well. But they're kind of scattered all over the place because I had other people filming it. So when I get some time, I'm going to break that down for you as well. But stay cool. Stay awesome, guys. I look forward to chatting to you real soon.